The Munster National is next up. This is rather short for a national. It's only three miles, 0 to 140. Ziraldo Zafra at the top for Darren Thompson. Activist Leon Van Rensburg. The contract, Craig Beckwith. Sandgate, Comebacks and Nocdolian Robin. James Shea, Passionate Queen, David Robertson. Langley Street, Graham Clitterbuck. Bookshot, Daniel French. Games Without Frontier for Padre Hogan. Night Escapade for John Morgan. Winning Brillant. Alex Cherry, Nina Dimiguro, Padre Hogan, Pokes and Annie, Martin Leadham, Hazy Lipped, Adam Old, Fearless Paul Parsons, and Passe Saratoga for Alex Cherry. A field of 16 then in this. Which size field for this one on their away and racing in the rain, as we probably expect when they get to the first, which is a ditch, comes up pretty quick, but they all got over it. Okay, and they're shuffling themselves around, sorting themselves out, see who wants to lead. Looks like it could well be Pokes Salad Annie. Down on this near side, as those of you know, your music might know, Pope Saladani is a son of Elvis. And Elvis is a, in the league team as well, he's a front runner. Uh, she looks like she takes after her dad. She's gone off into a joint lead with Hazy Lipped. And over on the far side, Night Escapade is in third for John Morgan as they get to the second of the 15. There's a fairly decent run to it. Right around this turn. In fact, I was in my mind on a slightly different track there for a minute, but it's anyways. Hazy lipped in the lead. They've still got a way to go to get to the second. Pokes and Annie is in second. There's a gap of six lengths then to the contract is in third. Night Escapade is in fourth. Then Zeraldo Zafra is after that one with Passe, Saratoga, and Passionate Queen. And then Noctoli and Robin Sungate comebacks as they finally get to the second. They all stream over except for Bookshot who's gone at the back. So Bookshot had a bit of a mistake. Jockey couldn't hang on. And has slipped out the side door as they get over the third now. The rest of them over that one okay. With Pokes and Annie just in front of Hazy Lipped in second. This is fence number four. Really good jump there by Hazy Lipped to see that one. Get back into the lead. There's a six length gap. Back to not escapade in the contracts. They get over the fifth. The fence is going up a little bit thicker and faster on this part of the track than they were earlier on. This is another ditch. And all safely over that one. As you can see, three mile chase with only 15 fences, and they've just taken five in the space of a few furlongs. So there are big chunks of this track, but there's no jumping to do. And that could play a significant part in the outcome of this one. Well, it's hazy lipped. Who's got the lead leading by half a length to Pokes and Annie in second, who's six or seven lengths up on Night Escapade back in third, then a couple of lengths back to the contract. Then comes Zeraldo Zafra and Noctolian Robin with Passionate Queen and Activist next. Then on the wide outside, Game Without Frontier after that one. And Sandback Comebacks, William Berlant, Passe Saratoga. We have a gap then to Nina Di Maguro and Langley Streak, and finally. Fearless is the back marker as they get to number seven, and that time John Morgan's horse gave it a bit of a wallop night escapade. It was near to the end of that one's escapade today. They get to this next one, which is another ditch, and the leaders take it together and safely over that one as well. Coming down the straight, then now. You can see that. The fence they've just taken will be the last of the next circuit. There's quite a long run in for this race. And Hazy Lipped and Poke Sandani past the winning post, clearing the lead. Oh, that big long run in may allow one of the closers to come in at the end. We'll see what happens at the business end of the race. But at the moment, Hazy Lipped and Poke Sandani will find it difficult to hold on to the lead, I think, on this sort of course. Night Escapade back in third. The contract is fourth. Zeraldo Zafra and Noctoli and Robin. Quite a few trainers got horses that like to come with a late rattle that are handily placed already. So, look at it. Darren Thompson, James Shea, Leon Van Rensburg all got horses that like to come with a rattle. Padraig Hogan's have been coming with a rare rattle as well so far this season. So, into the final mile. And Pope Sanadani and Hazy Lipped lead over that ditch from Night Escapade and Activist. We're now sharing third. They're only four or five lengths behind the leading pair now. Then the contract and Craig Beckwith's horses are known to come with a rattle as well. If that's anything connected with these flat sprinter Nola, then they, they do really do come from the back. They get over the 12th. I've got just three to take now. 
In this Monster National, and over the third last, the final ditch. Pokes on and landed in the lead, but the field is now beginning to merge into one group. Hazy Lipped is second. Not Escapade and Activist, and next, then Games Without Frontiers clearing up on the outside. Then Passionate Queens around. Those Zaffir is next. Then the contract, bit of a gap to Knock Dolly and Robin and Passe Saratoga. Then after that one is Sandgate Salt Combats. Fearless is trying to run on, so is Nina Dimaguro. But as they turn towards home, then now with just two to take, Pokes on and and Hazy Lipped are being Court activist has run himself into a pocket on the inside and as that moment's got nowhere to go if Hazy Lip doesn't move out and let him out he'll be stuck for a room coming around the outside games without frontiers he's coming through so too now on the wide outside Zeraldo Zafra knocked Dolly and Robbins coming through with a run as well so too the contract but it still pokes on an but activist has now got a clear run over the second last and activist lands in front activist is the leader from pokes on an in second Hazy Lip is third then Zeraldo Zafra after that one is passionate queen some of these not picking up for the back over the final ditch and it's activist who landed in front pokes on and is trying to fight back then comes games without frontier after that one hazel lip nina magoro and now pokes on and is beginning to get back up again on the outside there's still a furlong to go a furlong to go this big long running and it's made me look like a right idiot because the leader has come right back through to regain the lead and racing into the final quarter furlong Pokes on Annie, who's been a bit disappointing so far, finds a formal, wins this comfortably from Activist second, games without Frontier third, then Sandback comebacks, and then Passionate Queen all the way back to Passe Saratoga. And there's me trying to make out I can read a race, trying to tell you what's going to roll happen, and the exact opposite is what happened. The long time being again was given a breather and just shot through and regained the lead. So there you go, a bit of a surprise for me. That one, Pokes on Annie, the winner. For Martin Leader, activist second for Leon van Rensburg, games without frontier for Padre Hogan was back in third, I think he was. It was Sandgate comebacks for James Shea was fourth. Passionate Queen was fifth for David Rawson, and no doubt Gray is now shouting to the handicapper. Pull that one up to about 140.